Finally, robotic beings rule the world. The humans are dead. The humans are dead. We use poisonous gases. And we poison their asses. The humans are dead. The humans are dead. The humans are dead. They look like they're dead. It had to be done. I'll just confirm that they're dead. So that we can have fun. Affirmative. I poked one, it was dead. Welcome to Stimulated Boredom. I'm the host, Dana, and for more information on the program, you can go to stimulatedboredom.com. Now, in this edition of the video cast, I'm going to go into very basic uh, computer maintenance. Now, this is for folks who want to make sure that they're removing any kind of clutter on their PC that's accumulated over the years. You want to make sure that it's working uh, at its optimal speed and level. Uh, for those of you who are technophiles like me, I don't want to get any emails from anybody saying, well, geez, Dana, that's not very hard to defrag your drive and reconfigure your BIOS. This segment's not intended for you. This is intended for folks who just simply expect that when they turn on their PC that it works, uh, that they can email, they can go to MySpace, they can go to Facebook, they can look up their barely legal puppy porn, and they just simply want their computer to work. Just like people driving a car that you expect to put your key in, start the car, hit the gas pedal, and it goes, but they don't necessarily understand uh, the components of their engine, like an alternator or a starter, etc. So probably in a future uh, video cast, I'll go into upgrading your power supply, changing out your video card, upgrading your RAM, etc. But for this segment, it's a basic tutorial to remove clutter that's kind of accumulated on your system. Make sure that your system is working at an optimal level. So therefore, if you are maintaining your system, that when the robot uprising does come, maybe your computer will put in a good word for you and you won't be destroyed. So uh, the rest of the video, you'll be staring at my computer screen as I kind of go through just some very basic tips uh, to keep your computer running at its optimal level. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I'm going to kind of whip through this tutorial so that I can kind of stay within the 10 minute time allotment that I have on YouTube so I don't have to break this segment up into two separate parts. So the first thing that you want to do is a very simple procedure called disk cleanup, which essentially removes a lot of clutter that's accumulated on your system that might be affecting the amount of storage space that you have as well as the speed of your computer. So the first thing that you want to do is go to my computer. A lot of people have it saved on the desktop on their computer. If you don't, you can go down to the start menu here and select it. But if you go to my computer, double click on it, when this dialog box pops up and I apologize if some of these are kind of hard to see because my camera is trying to balance out the white in the background you want to select the local disk drive which is generally going to be your C drive when you select it you want to right click on the C drive scroll down to properties and when you scroll down to properties you're going to get a dialog box that looks like this now if you look in the center here next to the pie chart there's a little button that says disk cleanup if you select that you're gonna get a screen that essentially looks like this now what your system is doing is basically finding all of uh, the clutter that's in your system larger files that could be compressed into smaller files to free up some of your storage space removing some of your temporary internet files I've done cleanups on people's computers just kind of helping them out where they would have three four gigabytes worth of space being used up by this clutter so it's always a good idea to do a disk cleanup at least once a month uh, in order to remove all that for instance you'll see temporary internet files on the list when it comes up what your computer likes to do is it likes to archive images from websites that you frequent often now the purpose of that is so that those websites load faster in the future but unfortunately a side effect is if you're not cleaning those out from time to time those images are just accumulating taking up more and more space and it's a good idea to clear those out from time to time especially now that we have like cable and DSL uh, internet connections it's not dial up anymore so therefore you don't really need to archive those images to make the pages load any faster so just simply hit OK and the computer will do what it needs to do which is basically remove uh, all of those extra files compress the files that it needs to compress clear out your recycle bin uh, etc another option that you can do is a defragmentation now what you do is same process as you do with a disk cleanup is find my computer double click on it again find your local disk which is your C drive select it right click scroll down to properties and what's going to pop up is the exact same dialog box except this time you want to pay attention to the top tabs on this box and you want to select tools now when you select tools you'll see right here in the middle there's a button that says defragment now now what will happen is you're going to get a screen that looks very similar to this it is going to show you how fragmented your hard drive is now for instance on mine I recently did a defrag so there is not a lot of defragmentation on my computer which I'll kind of explain what that means in a moment and on the bottom here which they're grayed out at the moment there's a button that says analyze and defrag now if you haven't done this in a long time if you hit analyze it'll actually tell you yes you should defrag this drive or no you do not need to defrag this drive so if you 
you are uploading music, if you are uh, downloading videos, if you are installing programs, over time this can fragment your drive more and more. So to give you an example of what that looks like, I did like a really very basic kind of uh, diagram here essentially, is that a defragmented drive basically is this nice clean line where information has the ability to travel unhindered. Uh, so from point A to point B, if you're telling your computer to do a particular task, it's going to travel a lot faster on that straight line. A fragmented drive over time because of downloaded videos, installed programs, etc., becomes fragmented over time. So therefore, when you ask the computer to do a task from point A to point B, it basically has to go through all these fragmentations and gaps in order to get to uh, the task that you want it to perform, which essentially slows down your system. So what you want to do is take these fragmented um, uh, files and you want to condense them back down, have them connecting again, essentially, in the simplest way for me to put it, so you get back to this nice straight line as far as your hard drive is concerned. Doing this will essentially speed up your system because you're not having your system have to jump through so many hoops, cross over these fragmented files and gaps in order to go from one task to the next. Uh, obviously, fragmenting it will uh, make sure that it is traveling a lot faster, and therefore your system is going to perform a lot faster as a result of that. Now, another option that you can do, and if you hit defragment, if you haven't done it in a long time, it's going to take a very long time to do. A lot of times people will do it before they go to sleep and just let it defragment throughout the evening, especially if you haven't done it in years. Um, it's going to take a long time. If you do it once a month like I do, then it usually only takes about 15, 20 minutes at best, and your system will continually stay maintained. Another option you can do is having to do with your startup menu. Now, these are programs that start up whenever your computer um, is uh, turned on. Now, what you can do is go to the Start button down here on the bottom, click on Start, choose the Run option which is generally on the bottom on the right select run and in the little dialog box you want to type in the word MS config as in Microsoft config as in configuration MS config and hit OK now what happens this relates to your RAM memory which is your random access memory this is your virtual memory it has nothing to do with your hard drive storage space this is the memory that your computer uses to do all of the tasks that you asked it to do so if you're on MySpace you have Photoshop open you have Microsoft Word open you have your email program open etc all of these different programs and tasks are taking up virtual memory the more memory you have the smoother your computer is going to run so therefore you want to make sure that you don't have too many programs running in the background so that you can free up as much of that virtual memory as possible. So when you do the MS config configuration, along this top here, you'll see more tabs. If you choose startup, you'll see a list of every single program that is starting up whenever you turn on your computer. Now, a lot of these programs you don't need to start up whenever you start up your computer. Some of these programs automatically do this without you telling it to do it. For instance, if you do an update on iTunes, it automatically sticks QuickTime in your startup menu. You don't need these programs running in the background, especially if you're not using them because they're taking up so if all of these startup programs are using up 40% of your virtual memory, then you've only got 60% remaining for all of the other things that you do as far as being on YouTube, watching stimulated boredom videos, haha, -ha, wink, and uh, if you are also working on a Word document, writing a blog, all of that is going to take up that RAM. So you want to shut a lot of those off. So you don't need QuickTime in the background. You don't need you know, your AIM messenger your SM, uh, MSN uh, messenger running in the background you don't need iTunes to automatically launch every single time your computer comes on because you don't need those programs taking up that virtual memory so all you do is just find the ones that you want to turn off and just simply uncheck them hit apply and you restart your computer what ends up happening is the next time you restart your computer a box will pop up saying that programs that used to start up are no longer starting up there's a little dialog box where you just check off where it says do not tell me this in the future that's just simply like a precautionary thing hit OK and you're done but you You've shut off those programs, so you've freed up a lot of your RAM uh, as a result of that. And then the last, so I'm going to go ahead and close this out. Again, any other questions, either rewatch the video and pause where you need to, or email me at Dana at StimulatedBoredom.com, and I'll kind of take you into more advanced updates as far as updating your drivers and uh, things like that. So thank you very much for tuning in to this edition of the Stimulated Boredom video cast, and I hope you guys will tune in in the future. Thanks very much. Can't we just talk to the humans? See a little understanding could make things better. Can't we talk to the humans that we're together now? No, because they are dead. I said the humans are dead. I'm glad they are dead. The humans are dead. I noticed they're dead. We use poisonous gases. With traces of lead. And we poisoned their acid. Actually, their lungs. Binary solo. Zero, 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 zero.
zero 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 one zero 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 one one zero 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 one 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 zero 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 one 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 zero 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 one 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 zero 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 one one zero 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 one 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 zero 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 one 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 zero 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 one 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 zero 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 one 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 zero 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 one 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 zero 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 one 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 zero 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 one 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 zero 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 z